was crack. I'm Eva Alexandra and I just came back from Amsterdam. That is a lie, I didn't just come back. I came back about um, a week ago and I've been very lazy and, you know, back to work and back to reality, being all sad that I'm not on holidays anymore. Um, I thought it would be fun to do like a little haul video. <laughs> is that what people call these? Um, I'm not a, a very good vlogger, am I? Not really. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm in between editing the vlog that I did of Amsterdam. I thought I'd just, you know, show you guys some stuff that I got while I was there. Um, I didn't actually get a lot of stuff. I wasn't really, you know, there to buy souvenirs and stuff. It was more just enjoying my time going out. But I did get a couple of things. Um, yeah, so we start off with, let's see what we start off with. This because it's not actually for me, <laughs> um, but I thought I'd just show it anyway. It's some Stroop waffles. <laughs> they're waffles, they're Dutch waffles. They come in this cute little box. It's got like tulips and uh, what do you call these things? Windmills. I was about to call them sunflowers. Windmills are not sunflowers, not the same thing. <laughs> and then two little cute little people kissing in a boat. Um, yeah, this is a present for somebody. I can't eat these, but yeah, they're cute. I thought I'd just show that. I did have, uh, while we were there, I had a gluten day. Um, some people might know I just found out that I have celiac disease, so I can't eat gluten, but since I found out pretty recently, I was like, look, the damage is done in there. So let's just have one gluten day. So I had a waffle and I had, what else did I have? I had lots of stuff. The, uh, the waffle though was apparently like a Belgian waffle. I don't know, it was the big fluffy ones. It was great, anyway. While we're on the food, I'll show you guys. This is the best thing that I got during the whole trip. During the whole trip, I got bounty spread. Bounty fucking spread. I love coconut. This, this is amazing. It costs like five euro, I think. Um, I got it in a sweet shop there. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I don't want it to be gone, you know what I mean? So I haven't actually opened it yet, because I know once I open it, I'll just eat it. But, oh my god, I was so happy when I saw this. I looked, I was like, this is the best thing that I've ever seen in my life. I'm moving to this country. Um, yeah, I, when I was there, I found, uh, it'll show it in the vlog probably, I found these coconut chips uh, in that shop, Tiger, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but we have it in Dublin anyway, and I bought these coconut chips before. They're the best things ever. I love coconut, and I found them there, and I was so happy just munching on them. They're great. Um, what else have we got to show you guys? So, I also have, you know, the, um, the stuff you have to buy, some magnets. So here's this one. I don't know, I thought this one was kind of cool. It's um, a little bit different. It's got like little picture. I don't know if this is focusing. Um, Kind of messed with the, the camera settings a bit. I don't really know cameras very well. Anyway, it's got like little pictures and all the things. Um, it's cool. I liked the yellow, I don't know why. Then there's, you know, typical one, just some little houses, but they're colourful and they're cute. And I like them. And it's got a little boat under the bridge. They're cute little magnets. So they're the magnets and then the other generic thing, like a little keychain thingy. Amsterdam written on it, I think this is their crest or their football team's crest on it. I don't know if you can see that. There's just two little animals of some kind, real or imaginary, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a little shoe that says Amsterdam. Um, I also got in the Van Gogh Museum, uh, the little shop there. I got these two, okay, so they're like little perfume bottles. There's this one, um, which is the Sunflowers one. And then there's this one as well. Um, so yeah, they're just little perfume bottles. You take them in your bag, you go away, you live your life. But they've got little Van Gogh paintings on them and I thought they were cute. And they're like little handy things, I don't know. Because like, have you ever tried carrying around a big bottle of perfume? It's not fun. It's not fun, you have to bring a bag. You can't just stick it in your pocket. If you do, you might look a bit weird, it might not even fit, probably half stick out your pocket, you know. These are cute little practical things and they're pretty. Uh, yeah, I've got two different ones. So that was a loud noise. What else have we got? So we've got from... Yeah, well we're on Van Gogh. I guess. So we got... Can you see this? 
Can you? I cannot see what you can see. So you have this. Um, you know, it still needs to be framed so you can put it up. But yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. They had loads of different prints. Um, but this one I liked particularly. I was gonna go for the um, this one, the blue one. But um, no, I just thought this one was cool and it would look nice in the apartment. We have like white walls. Um, yeah, I thought this would look cute. I'm gonna get a frame for it anyway, probably like just a typical, nice, clean, light colored wood frame. Um, we'll see. I have to go to the shop to get that. I have to go to the shop to get a lot of stuff actually. I need lots of shit. But anyway, here's this. I thought it was cool. Got that in the Van Gogh Museum as well. And then, not in the Van Gogh Museum, but on the way back from it. Um, on the way to the centre, there was a little shop that had loads of prints and like loads of different things. Um, I was gonna get one other one, but I didn't. I overthink things when I try and buy things. I'm like, well, do I really need it? And do blah, 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 blah. I was gonna buy one that had like little pin-up ones, um, but I didn't get that. So there's this one. Um, again, I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, it's just like pen thing, watercolor maybe. I'm not sure. I don't really know art of like little houses, like typical Dutch looking houses, a little bridge, and they had like the same one in a white frame and a black frame, and they also had it in black and white. This one's in color, but this one's cute. I think it's nice. And also, if we had a white frame and then white walls, it would look a bit weird, so you got the black frame and then the colours just stand out a bit. I think it's nice. I think it's sweet. Um, this one, obviously, we're not going to frame. It has its own little paper frame thing. These prints were actually pretty cheap. I think this one was 7 50 €7.50. Cent. And this one, they have, I don't know if it was on sale that day or it's always on sale, you know what I mean? But I think this was €5 Euro only. And it's quite big, so that's pretty good. Um, other things I got, I think actually the same day, I kind of bought things all in one day. The same day that we bought this thing, I bought, okay, I hate this and I love it. I hate it and I love it. We bought this, um, you know what, I should take it out of the wrapper. I haven't taken it out of the wrapper yet because I don't know where to put it. I got this, um, again, I don't know if you can see it. You know those like dead bugs? It's a dead bug. I hate it. But I hate it because I like it and apparently that's weird. But do you get, ever get that where like something makes you really uncomfortable so you just really like it? Like if you're watching like, I don't know, a freaky documentary or something and it makes you feel really sick and then you like it because of that. I don't know. I thought that was a normal thing but apparently it's not. Anyway, it's really, really nasty and I hate it and I feel so sorry for the poor thing. It was really gross. But yeah, here is Dead Bug that I hate and love all at the same time. Um, oh, I forgot to take something out. I have a lighter from... Bear with me. I also got a lighter. One of these kind of lighters. Um, it's gonna say Zippo, I guess it's not technically a Zippo, but it's a Zippo. It's the Starry Night painting. Got that in the Van Gogh Museum as well. No, I didn't. That's a lie. I got this in a normal, like, souvenir shop. Um, yeah. I think it's cool. It doesn't have any gas in it yet. I need to buy gas and put it in. But it's pretty. I kind of wish it was black, though. You know, in the background, I think it would look much nicer. But maybe that would have been more of a nuisance to make. I don't know. I really don't know if you guys can see these things. I hope it's focused. If we put it to my face, will it focus? <laughs> I have the thing focused on my face. I hope. I also got uh, another lighter, but it was just like a, you know, like a little clipper that said Amsterdam on it and it's red. It's not very interesting. <laughs> so I didn't bring it in. Other stuff I got um, was this. Okay, so it's like a bonsai tree. Um, I'm putting it like this because some of the dirt fell out. So I kind of want to have as little dirt as possible. Haven't planted it yet. Gonna do that this week, most likely. I think it's. Tuesday today, or Wednesday maybe. So yeah, gonna do that this week. Um, they had loads of different types of bonsai trees to choose from. I wanted so many of them. There was a pink one, and there was one that grew lemons. And I wanted both of those, <laughs> but um, we couldn't bring back three 
bonsai trees. I had no space in my suitcase. Like when we came, when we came to Amsterdam, when we went to Amsterdam, my suitcase was already full. I don't know how I managed to bring anything else with me. So yes, little bonsai tree, gonna plant that very soon. So it should look like this, something like this. This is like the typical one. Uh, so I thought I'd get that, this is really pretty. They did have ones that came in like, um, so, so this has like a little plastic planter already and planted in. They did have ones that came in ceramic ones, but the issue with that was they were really heavy. Um, and then I'd have to, you know, bring that on the plane and pain in the hole. So we just got the little plastic one. But I'm really excited for this. Um, I need to read up on how to look after a bonsai tree because uh, I have no idea. I don't know how often they need to be watered. I don't know how soon they grow. I hope it's soon. Grow soon. I'm so excited for my little baby. I've never like grown a plant from seeds, like on my own. Uh, okay, so we're running down to the last few items. I'll show you the least interesting ones first. <laughs> so I got two books, this one and this one. I didn't actually buy these, they were given to me um, because we went over to some people's house and I was talking about how I wanted to learn Dutch. Um, I used that Duolingo app, but you know, there's only so much you can learn from the app. Um, and I'd been looking for a, a book to buy to learn, even like a kid's book. I couldn't find anything anywhere. Uh, the woman there, she was like, oh wait, I have books, you can have them. I didn't know what to do with them. So it was great, she got them out of the way and I got books. Um, so it's just, Dutch for beginners. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, this is just the textbook and this is the workbook. Um, I've been doing a little bit, not too much, like bit by bit. Uh, I really, really want to learn Dutch. I do know a couple of words. My pronunciation is terrible. It's a very difficult language to pronounce for um, for an English speaker, I think. I think, anyway. Um, yeah, very excited about these. Very, very excited. I was so happy when I got them because I was like, I'm going to learn Dutch. It's amazing. Because um, I do want to move to Amsterdam. Um, well, to the Netherlands in general, but specifically Amsterdam. I just love it there. Such an amazing place to be. And then the last and final thing I'm going to show you guys is I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited. This is, okay, you probably almost definitely cannot read that. UFO drawings from the National Archives by David Clark. So this is exactly what it says it is. I bought this in Reich's Museum. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, so it's literally a book from the National Archives of the UK about alien sightings and drawings people did and then it has this thing in the front. But like you can see, let me see if I can find this picture. This is a picture somebody did look like a UFO or whatever. Um, and it's like got bits to read and stuff. This is from the cover. We just opened it there randomly. Um, yeah, and it's got like bits to read and stuff. Got loads of drawings. Um, I read a little bit of it, but I haven't finished it yet. I, I love UFO stuff. This picture, I know this picture already. It's one of my favorites because it's so freaky. This, um, I watched a documentary and this was in it. So this dude in the background, I don't know if you can see. So there's this girl and there's a little um, astronaut looking dude in the background. He's got like a spacesuit on. So I think this was taken in the 70s, maybe it says. You know what, I'm not gonna look for that now. I think it was taken in the 70s. Um, and his dad took his daughter out for the day to the park or whatever. And he took a photograph of her. They were just in this empty park. I think it was close by some kind of something to do with rockets. I'm not sure. I can't remember the exact story. And he took the picture and then when he went to get it developed, um, this space dude was in it. He was just in it. <laughs> and like the guy was not there when they took the photo. People have like tested it. Um, yeah, the Solway Spaceman. That's what they call him. It's so, it's such a weird story. Look at it. I'm like, they had no idea that he was just standing there. He just appeared in the picture. I just love it. It's so freaky. So unexplained, but explain it to me. I want answers. Some like other pictures and stuff. Anyway, I'll stop pushing over this book, but I'm so excited to finish this. Um, because we're, there were so many books in the Rags Museum, so many. Um, I was looking at loads of different ones. I had loads of like really cool art stuff and then like 
I don't know, funny books and then kind of philosophical books. And then I just saw this and I was like, oh, I need to get it. And then some of the books there were like really expensive. They were like maybe 40, 50 euro. I think I saw a couple that were like 70. And this one was 15 euro. So that is fine. I'm so happy about this book. It's my baby. I love it. Um, yes, that is all for the stuff that I got in Amsterdam. Uh, I also got like a pair of jeans and some other crap. Um, the jeans I'm not going to show. It's not interesting. It's just a regular old pair of grey skinny jeans from... I was about to say pennies, but there it's Primark. So from Primark. And then just some other random stuff um, that's not very interesting. So this was just the more, I don't know, touristy things and then just bounty stuff and things I was happy about. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was saying, I really, I really do want to move to Amsterdam. It's such an amazing place. I got there and I just, I just loved it. It was amazing. It was one of the best places I've ever been to in my life. I could really see myself living there. Uh, it's like I was saying to, <laughs> to somebody, it's like if, Dublin just got organized. That's kind of what Amsterdam is. And we were in Eindhoven as well. That was the only other city we went to. Um, and Eindhoven, it was really, really nice. I don't know if I'd particularly want to live there. Um, I could, but you know, it wasn't really, it wasn't the city. It wasn't as busy and exciting, you know? Um, we did do as well, there was this, you'll see a little bit of it in the vlog when it goes up. Um, we did this thing called This Is Holland. Fucking terrifying. You go into this, they show you a film and then after the film you go into this room and you sit in these chairs and it's got like a curved screen and the chair goes forward so there's no floor anymore and you're just seeing this curved screen. It's sort of like a 5D experience, like a 7D, I don't know. So you're not touching the ground and the seats are moving and there's like when they go over water, like it sprays water in your face and then when you go past these tulip fields, it, like it smells like tulips, so it's like you're going through all of um, Holland. It was really, really cool, really scary, probably not gonna do it again. Um, I guess it was worth it. I mean, I'm, I, I just, I'm a little bit claustrophobic, so that was my only problem. Not that it, it seems small, it's just because they close the door, you know, and the seat goes out, you know, oh, I can't can't just leave if I want to, you know, it's not like a movie, you can't just stand up and go, like, you're there. That's where you are now. Um, so that was a little bit scary, but it was cool, it was really cool. So I guess I got to virtually see some of the rest of, of the area. Um, hopefully gonna go back very, very soon. Oh, maybe this year, maybe next year, but would really, really like to go again soon. But anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling now. Thank you very much for watching this, and then Hopefully the vlog is gonna go up soon, but because it's like a lot and a lot of little clips and then figuring out which clips are the best clips, which ones I'm gonna use, which order I put them in, and then like actually editing it, fixing the sound for all of the clips or like fixing bits of the image or whatever. It's gonna take a while. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but hopefully I'll get that up soon. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Say goodbye to my weird creepy bug. If anybody knows what kind of bug this is, please let me know. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. I don't know. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>